Hey everyone, and welcome back to Stephanie Reacts to The Legend of Korra, Book 3, Change, Chapter 5, The Metal Clan. Well, on last week's one, we saved all the airbenders, we did, but we managed to free the firebender with the one eye. Eee. Will Lord Zuko be able to catch the, the four of them? I was going to say the trio, but the four. The quadro. Will they be able to get them all back into jail, kind of thing? Or put them all back into their private cells? As we were all before. Like a water. Like. A jail in water, like on a boat. And a blocky ice jail, whatever else can. <coughs> Tenzin and all that do that, because you think Tenzin says he's got to join them with Chief Buffin and that. Chief Buffin. So he's got to get them. <coughs> so maybe they need. To, and somehow they said they needed Cora, didn't they? So maybe we'll let me learn more about this. How they want Cora to join them. Or that. Maybe because she's all four elements together. That's unique to them. I don't know, but this could be also me. A Sammy. She makes a big, big metal robot. Metal clan. Or, like she buffing. She can steel bend. Or metal bend. And so can all her police officers can. So that's to be like the metal clan. They try to keep the metal bending. I don't know. But let's jump into this and we'll find out then. Tan. No. While you're playing fetch, four of the most dangerous criminals in the world are hunting you down. We should get moving. Relax, right, we just got here. Can. Besides, no one knows where I am right now except us. I think she wants you to throw it for her. Just play me. Ah, uh, pass. Then Aren't you coming? What you know? What's there to see? It's metal. Big whoop. Just find the airbender and let's get moving. They who expanded the possibilities of what benders were capable of. Here, everyone is encouraged to reach his or her highest potential. Does Toph live here? Are we gonna get to meet her? I'm afraid not. She used to visit from time to time, but years ago she left to wander the world in search of enlightenment. No one has seen her since. That's why she performed, but this is why go with her mom was there. See? I'm explained it. I guessed it. Well, Steel City. She's a steel bender, so. Wow. Is this where the airbender lives? Yes, but first, her mother wants to meet you. Or mother, right, the first female. out why you were so against coming here. Why didn't you ever tell me you had a sister? Half sister. Same mom, different dads. So what? We're blood, Lynn, and after 30 years, the least you could do is hello, say hello. Definitely. I have nothing to say to you. Wow. You two haven't spoken in 30 years? How come? Ask her. I've tried. Oh, don't put that on me. You're the one who tore our family hey. apart. And you've done a bang-up job keeping it that way. You haven't changed one bit, have you? Look, we can stand here I arguing about the past all day, but that's not the reason the Avatar came here. My daughter is thrilled to meet you. Lynn, your niece is the new airbender. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, uh -huh. terrific. Those are my two youngest, Wei and Win. They're playing a game called Power Disc. They invented it all on their own. Yeah! Airbender, disgraceful. Be the leaf. But I don't know what that means. No. 
Now that man's a leaf. A student is only as good as his master. Great news! I just got a message from Tenzin. He's with a whole group of other airbenders at the Northern Temple, and he wants all of you to join them. We leave first thing in the morning. And the Avatar oh. is with them? Hey. No, apparently she had to split off from Tenzin. That's unfortunate. I was really looking forward to meeting her. Yeah, um... Ever had a bad meal in my life? Mm -hmm. Oh, I had plenty when Mako and I were living on the streets. I mean, you'd be surprised how you bad food from a dumpster can be. I'm sorry, I didn't know. No, no, it's okay, it's okay. That's all in the past. Things are great now. I got to be a pro bender, fought against a dangerous revolution, became a mover star, mm -hmm. and now uh, I'm helping yeah, the Avatar star. rebuild a whole nation. Wow, your life sounds so cool. Hey, 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 Thanks. Oh, boy, yeah. You know, before I built this city, there was nothing here. I wanted to make my mark on the world. It's amazing. Thank you for being so welcoming. And I'm sorry for how Lynn's been acting. Can I ask, Hi. what happened with you two? It. It's complicated. We didn't have a normal childhood. Neither of us knew our fathers, and Toph was always busy being chief of police. Because Mom grew up in such... I thought, Mako said... Just kidding. But do me a favor and stop Hi. trying. Well, don't stop trying. Just stop trying so much. Just be, be yourself. Hi. Huh, be myself. Yeah, I guess I be could give that a shot. Don't be Mako. Or Mako. <clears throat> oh, hey, Cora. Can I steal you away from Bolin for a minute? I need your help with something. My family can be a little crazy and overwhelming sometimes, Come on, but Glenn. I would love it so much if you would be a part of it. Get out. Sorry, did I say something wrong? Get out! I don't want to be a bitch for... What's your problem? Don't get mad at Opal. I asked her to talk to you because I thought it would help you snap out of whatever funk you're in. But I guess I was wrong. Why don't you focus on fixing the world and stop trying to fix my family? Sue's right. You're never going to change. You're always going to be a bitter, lonely woman. Well, we found out where Lynn Bufan was brought up then. In this steel city. Because as we know, tough grew up in the Earth Bender in a Earth Kingdom kind of thing because like she was a princess or something or some kind of royalty for that. So when Toth grew up, I think her and her daughter Snap must have built this city. But Lynn took them. Lynn took Cora and that. Don't tell anybody I'm here. But somehow that the guy at the gate, he knew Cora was lying. So he said that he was a truth teller or something. So he can tell if you're telling lies. So, oh. Cora had to spill what Lynn was here. And since Lynn left the ship, Lynn's been a total bitch. She had to her sister, with her sister, and to her niece. Since we just saw the end of it there, the way she's talking to Opal, like, what the fuck? All she wants to do is get to know her auntie. She said, my family might be crazy, yeah, but I also want you to get to know me. For me, not for them. And then, get out. Oh, so whatever happened between our family, I hope that could be resolved soon. Because if they are allowed to take Opal with them, Lynn's going to be stuck with her in the ship for a wee while. So, uh, you have to, Lynn will have to connect with her soon. So, well, and Lynn fancies her. Like, make, make her say to him, you fall for every last you see. The dumb actress, the psychotic ice princess. 
now you opal. Every time a new, a new, well, a pretty Alaska comes along, it's in love. So, I don't know why. It's like, he goes out with lassies, if you just got to dump them, or he's got to, they're going to dump him, he goes out with a next man, on and on and on. And, Beric's here. Yeah. How did he even get to this place? And, he was in jail, but I uh, he escaped jail. But that was because, wasn't it? Because of the harmonic, harmonic conversion. I think that was because, like, the vine, uh, I was because of the harmonic conversion. The vines and stuff attacked the building, they broke the cell. Very good out that way, he did. And just saw him flew it find the way, that was it. So, he. And we saw. Oh, I forget his name, Azir, I think it's Azir or that. Next to, being at, being at Kenzin's house, I think he was. Looking for Cora. As soon as, we, as soon as he arrived, I was like, that's him, I guess he, but he probably shaved his head. I think he shaved his head at the time. But, he never shaved his head, and that's what he looked like, and I forgot. But, him, um, he's actually telling the truth a wee bit, saying, I got these powers last week, but well, he did get the powers kind of last week to him or something, or, but I wonder how he knew where they were, and he knows a lot about air bending. he does, it's like he was flying through the wee gates, like air hang, like Cora had to learn, I think when she first learned, she got her to like all the rest of them did. This guy was like flying through him, kind of with his close his fingers or something. But he never, didn't use an air ball or anything, so I doubt he knows how to do them yet. He found one of Penzin's locket things and was reading the scripture on it. But then his wife figured out that was a Zia. And now he's escaped. But who were the guards with the fire bending? Did they maybe someday who Lord Zuko maybe left behind? Or that? I don't know. But Kenzin's wife knows about it, like is he wanted to kidnap Cora and all that too? That's why they took Cora ran. To hide her. So no, you know no he knows Tins at the Northern Near Temple. I think he's got to go there. Or he's got to go travel and look for Korra. Or maybe hide at the Northern Near Temple and not be seen. Because Korra has to arrive there soon to drop airbenders off. That's when he might try to get her. I don't know, maybe. The next episode Old Wounds. I'm guessing. Old ones is with Lynn and her sister. And maybe. I hope we see Toff. I really do hope we see Toff. Like the two Lynn and her sister fight. Then Toff enters and breaks it up, kind of thing. That'll be like, <sighs> kind of moment. That'll be, that'll be brilliant. It's like, when we were in the spirit world, we see an eye arrow. I was, <gasps> I was like that kind of thing. I was shocked. But it would be brilliant if we saw Lynn. No, no, Lynn. Toff, sorry. And um, if we don't see Toff, uh, we might get a story, or we might get a backstory, like a flashback, when you were kids or something, like old wounds. And why they hate, why Lynn hates them for. I'm guessing the scratches on Lynn's face in there. Probably cause your sister, maybe? I don't know. Something made these scratches on her face. And that's probably why she doesn't like a family or that. Cause like, Lynn's sister says her mother, Toff, just brought up like royalty and that stuff, mob strict. So she gives the two of them freedom to do what they want. The two of them try to beg for Toff's 
expansion. So if you knew we're fighting for it, it's probably got hurt to it and that's what it's got to maybe. I don't know. But anyway everyone, thank you for watching this reaction. Don't forget to hit a like button, subscribe, comment down below. And have a good day, good night, good week, good weekend. Stay safe out there everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.